here is a little bit about CCNP security. Now, if you happen to stumble on this video somewhere on the internet, do know it is part of a bigger Cisco certification series I created on cbtnuggets.com. It's all free if you're, if you're interested. I really uh, push you that direction to see the whole series because there's a lot I won't talk about here, like the benefits of certification, the, the track in its, in its entirety, how to prepare for the exams, all those, all those kind of stuff uh, I have in, in other uh, dedicated videos. So for now, let's focus on CCNP security. This certification is designed for the security ninjas of the world. Cisco wanted you to be able to, to say, I can walk in and I can lock down your network uh, in such a way that it, it takes care of almost all of the, the uh, security attacks that are out there. Now, I, I'm hesitant as I use terms like all and, you know, that's why I even preface it by saying almost all is because you, you can never have a network that is 100% secure 100% of the time unless you unplug it from everything, lock it behind a iron door and say nobody can ever go in there. You know, it's always a balance of usability uh, versus security. So there's it, it, security is always something that's evolving and, and changing as new types of attacks come out. So the person that is looking for a CCNP security is somebody that is dedicated to the security field. Uh, you know, this is, you're either working at an organization that is large enough to have a full-time security person that is investigating security incidents, uh, always going through and, and finding new ways to secure the network, or probably more likely you're working for a consulting group uh, where your job is to do security auditing. You're going in and, and auditing networks, making sure that they uh, pass security checks, you know, you might even work for government agencies. There's a lot of different places where CCMP security will come in. And that being said, uh, for for you and, and you know, if you're interested in, in CCMP security, this is one that there will always be a job for. Security is a never-ending field just because it's always evolving, always changing, probably at a pace faster than almost any other just because there's a million motivated people trying to break into networks in new ways, new methods every single time. Uh, with that being said, uh, you've got to be kind of a, and, and I say this, I'm trying to think of a good way to put this, a special person <laughs> to, to get into CCNP security or to be a full-time security uh, auditor in that um, there, there's, there's uh, just a whole new level of awareness you need to be at on locking down networks. Uh, let, me, let me just tell you from my perspective, I am not a good security auditor. Even though I have a CCNP security certification, I just, I, I'm one of those, you know, life is good, people are nice people, um, you know, I know I'm gonna, I need to lock this down so the most obvious attacks are not gonna get through, but, you know, when, when, I, when I see somebody, I'm like, hey, he looks like a good guy, and someone's like, uh, he's wearing dark sunglasses, has a rifle, and is pointing it in your direction. I'm like, well, maybe he's, maybe he's trying to, I don't know, help out in some way. You know, it's just the kind of mindset I have. So if you have that mindset, probably not a good security auditor. Um, you you want to be somebody who is like, they're out to kill me. Who? who? I, I don't know. Everybody. Uh, everybody, including my family, is out to get me. So so those that kind of mindset is, is kind of how you have to approach this. And they always say the best security person is a hacker. And I will absolutely say that's true because when you are kind of a, a white hat, gray hat sort of hacker person where you're looking at how to break into things, if that interests you, uh, then then you're, you're knowing what people are going to do to break in your own network. So you kind of balance both worlds in, in that sense sense. So that's the kind of person that you are. Now let's talk about the path to get there. Uh, Cisco CCNP security and everything always begins with an original Cisco CCNA. And there's my little faded background here. Uh, that's the CCNA routing and switching. That starts every Cisco certification track. From there, you can move into CCNA security. Now, the CCNA routing and switching is a prereq to the CCNA security. Uh, so you've got to have that to get certified. And CCNA security focuses on, I guess you could call them the big mountains of security as it relates to Cisco routers and switches. Uh, so when you're in there, uh, you're going to you know, really get into access lists. You're going to get into SNMP monitoring to see when security attacks are happening. 
happening. You're going to get into preventing common layer two attacks, uh, DHCP snooping, uh, you know, site to site VPNs. Again, kind of the the overview. Just just like all CCNA cer certifications are meant to do, uh, you're going to be doing a lot of big picture overview, but you're also going to be using tools like the Cisco SDM to deploy a lot of what you do. Uh, SDM being the graphic interface. Graphic interface. Yeah. So so the CCNP security uh, then takes all of that away. The first exam that I would say you should and probably most people go for is secure, which takes the CCNA security and builds upon it. Now your, your SDM is virtually gone. You're everything command line. You're doing advanced uh, zone-based firewalls, IPS implementation, you know, implementing all kinds of VPNs using command line on the iOS, where you'd, it's going to be a lot of the similar topics of CCNA security, but you're really going to know how it works, not just that you can get it working by doing next, next, finish in the SDM. Uh, this is, you know, all command line all the time, uh, getting things going on routers and switches. Uh, from there, that's where you move into, and what I would, I would suggest this flow right here, you move into the ASA firewall uh, with the firewall certification. Again, now focusing on Cisco's dedicated firewall platform, uh, the ASA, and everything that it is able to do uh, from, you know, again, it's a lot of similar technologies, VPNs, uh, you know, firewall capabilities, inspections at the, you know, layer 7, applica application layer inspection, all, all that kind of stuff, uh, focusing on the ASA platform. A lot of, you know, I would say between these two, you're getting probably... <laughs> I'm like I'm like 50% of what you need for security. Yeah, because it's two exams. No, it's even more than that. I would say probably about 70 to 75% of what you do uh, day to day. Maybe even more uh, in those two exams. Uh, so really big ones right there. These two really being a little more specialized. Uh, VPN technology being. VPNs, virtual private networks that run the world today from site to site to remote access to SSL VPNs, you know, everything and in, in anything about VPNs, uh, really focusing again on the ASA platform. So it's enhancing what you do in the firewall uh, series and, and moving into uh, pure VPN technology. So you, you're, get, you're getting a lot of above and beyond uh, just, you know, next, next finish. Again, high level view here, deep view here. Uh, IPS being a, a world in itself, all I will say all of these, well, no, these two, talk about IPS. You And you configure IPS in a basic sense. But if you've dealt with IPS before, you know that that alone can be a full-time job. It's using signatures and... and uh, heuristics, you know, methods that it can use to investigate packets as it's going through where it can detect zero day attacks because it sees, you know, 15 packets in a row and it goes, wait a sec, that's not normal. I shouldn't see 15 ping packets in a row that have this code inside. That's Even though I don't know what that is, that's just not normal. I'm going to block it and I'm going to notify an administrator. So IPS is, I always you know compare it to Mission Impossible. This is your, your Mission Impossible laser tripwire sensors that you put all around the network to see just weird things that a normal virus checker, a normal firewall would typically miss. So you put all those together. Uh, in a certification series, and you have your CCSP uh, certification. Now, I also want to talk about how how difficult are these exams? Well, on a scale of one to ten, and I and I uh, to say this in every one of the certification videos I've recorded so far, ten being like this is impossible. You're you know brace yourself kind of thing. Um, I put the CCNP, the normal CCNP certification exams, between an 8.0 and 8.5. Um, I would actually put the security exams <laughs> at 7.9. <laughs> and I, just so you know, the, the CCNP voice, I kind of dropped back a little further to the six sixes uh, just because I, I didn't think they were as real world, but I was really impressed when I went through the CCNP security. Uh, Cisco put some time, some effort into these exams to where there is a lot of simulations. There's a lot of uh, real world technology, but keep in mind, uh, you are going to see uh, you know a little less... Uh, I guess mean teeth behind it, like the CC, the the real CCNP routing and switching has. I shouldn't say real, but CCNP routing and switching has, um, just because they they have so much demand for that. So the the pool of questions is bigger, all all of that. But I would say the CCNP security, pretty real world, pretty difficult exams. And the way and the way I come up with these ratings, by the way, is when I leave the exam, I think, okay, walking out of there. 
do I feel like I was tested as in if I didn't know what I was doing I would not have passed that exam or do I feel like I could have studied for that just by memorizing a book of multiple choice questions and maybe I wouldn't really know fully what I was doing I just I'm good at multiple choice so so CCNP security I really thought you got to know your stuff you know this is not just a, a cakewalk through the park all that being said I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing